On a Synology router, there are two reset options. A soft reset, which allows you to reset your administrator's login credentials, and a hard reset, which will wipe all router settings and reinstall Synology Router Manager. So in this video, we're going to demonstrate how you perform a hard reset. As a hard reset, we'll remove all settings and any services that may be running, then reinstall Synology Router Manager. Typically, you would perform a hard reset if you intend to lend, give away, or decommission your router. As there are two ways to hard reset a Synology router, we're going to look at both. So let's start by performing a hard reset from within Synology Router Manager. If from the sign-in page on our router, we log into our administrator's account, by selecting Control Panel, and in the sidebar choosing System, under the heading Update and Restore, and in the subheading Configuration Backup and Restore, we have an option called Restore Factory Default Settings. By selecting this option, we're asked to confirm that we wish to factory reset our router. If we tick the checkbox next to I understand all my data will be deleted forever and be unrecoverable, the Erase All button will start a countdown. When the countdown ends, if we select Erase All Data, our router will reboot and perform a factory reset. As performing a factory reset, we'll also reinstall Synology Router Manager. It can take up to 10 minutes to complete. The alternative method for performing a factory reset is via the reset button on our router. You should find that on the back of your router, you have a reset button. So using some sort of reset tool, for example, a paperclip or pin, and gently pressing and holding down the reset button for 10 seconds, our router will begin to perform a factory reset. Regardless of whether you perform a hard reset with Synology Router Manager or via the device itself, we will know that we are factory resetting our router because the indicator lights on the front of our router will blink out and the status light will change from green to orange. You will find that it takes between 5 to 10 minutes for your router to reset to factory defaults. However, it should be noted that while your router performs its hard reset, you should not switch it off or remove it from its power supply, as this could damage the Synology Router Manager software and prevent your router from functioning properly. We will have completed a factory reset when the status light on our router starts to blink green, or in the case of the MR2200AC, blink blue. To confirm that our router has been factory reset, if we use a computer to inspect the wireless access point in our location, we will find part of an access point with its name beginning with Synology underscore. If we connect to this wireless access point using the password Synology and then open a web browser by typing router.synology.com into the address bar, we will be shown the initial Synology router startup page, which confirms that we performed a hard reset on our router. We can now either switch off our router or reconfigure it 